Alongside Brent Hubbs, I'm Austin Price. Breaking news on this late Sunday night slash early Monday morning. Jimmy Brumbaugh out as Tennessee's defensive line coach after just four games, Brent. A, uh, a quick six-month tenure as Tennessee's defensive line coach that will see Tennessee pay him $1.3 million to work very little. Yeah, I mean, this is not the move anybody saw coming today. Um, you know, when you talk about this defense, you talk about this team and their struggles against Kentucky, they were not very good in the second half in terms of uh, defending the run. Kentucky ran up and down the field on them, and I thought the defensive line did get pushed around. But, you know, they didn't turn it over four times. I think if you'd have polled Vol fans, this was not the, the move they were anticipating. I, I will say this, you know, Jeremy Pruitt was as critical of his defensive linemen in the preseason uh, as he was any group on the field and are on his team. And this is a group that was probably hit less by COVID than really anybody, any other position group. So I, I think there was some concern about just how coach Brumball was working out, how it was working out, but you didn't have spring practice and you had the COVID issues and, and everything else. So I just, I don't think anybody saw this coming. I certainly didn't see it coming today. I didn't see it coming today. I didn't see it, um, you know, coming from a from an X's and O standpoint now has he been dynamite on the recruiting trail and I would say no um in fact to the point that I think that you know all the knock on Tracy Rocker for his inability to recruit I I think basically it was a push there I don't think Tennessee in any ways upgraded uh from a recruiting standpoint going from Rocker to Brumball Austin one question Tennessee fans will have as well is how does this affect recruiting moving forward for Tennessee well, obviously, Tennessee still has Tyreon Ingram Dawkins that they're in on. Uh, that's a South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee battle. Uh, South Carolina's win, obviously, Saturday got a lot of play for him. Um, you know, obviously, a guy like Taiwan Malone, big defensive tackle out of Bergen Catholic, another kid that, uh, you know, Tennessee is heavily involved in. Um, I, I think that it, you know, it, it, it definitely matters. To say it doesn't matter would be erroneous, but I don't think this is an end all be all. You know, I'm interested to see what Isaac Washington thinks. Obviously, he decommitted. Uh, you know, he had committed and decommitted once Rocker left, you know, and then recommitted to Brumball. How does he, you know, how does this affect him? How does this affect Katron Evans? Um, I, you know, it's hard to think that it doesn't have some type of impact. Do I think it's major? No. I didn't necessarily think anybody was getting fired, you know, coming out of, you know, the fourth game of the season. But at the same time, it seems like that this is, a, you know, a bit of a, you know, okay, yo, we have maybe a small problem there, but, you know, we have other problems as well. Yeah, I mean, and I don't know the inner workings of the relationship and, and all of those things. I mean, you know, knowing, you know, Jeremy Pruitt in terms of, you know, kind of how he thinks and, and how he feels about things when he makes a decision, you know, he, he a lot of times he makes a decision. And if he was going to do this at the end of the year, I'm sure in his mind, why wait? You know, what, why go through the rest of this season if you know you're going to make this move at the end of the year? And, may, and maybe that's why, you know, he, he wanted to go that direction and, and do it now. It just, again, it's when you talk about, you know, when I did the rewatch, you know, for the 10 things I think I know, you know, defensive line wasn't something I, I really dove into. I didn't think that they played with great effort in the second half on defense. But that's, you know, that that was not one of my 10 things I was even really focusing on a great deal, to be honest with you, because it was more about their, their offensive struggles and how do you fix those offensive struggles. I still think that's the biggest question mark surrounding this team, not only for this week against Alabama, but when you move into the back half of the season, what are they going to be offensively? What's their identity going to be? It's not, you know, that, that they've got a fix, you know, that, that there's a fix now because – They've made a move on the defensive line. So, again, not something I anticipated happening today. If Tennessee made a move on the offensive side, you've got a guy like Chip Long who's, you know, a, you know, an off-the-field uh, assistant that could easily step in and coach receivers or tight ends or, or whatever um, or, or, or be the play caller, for that matter. He was the OC at Notre Dame. Defensively, though, they don't really have that luxury. Um, you know, they do have an extra an assistant on the defensive side, and Jeremy is – let's call it a defensive coach. Um, so uh, where do you think they go here with, with their defensive line position the next six games? Because, you know, Tennessee's still got to coach them up and get them ready to play. Is it as simple as the head coach coaches the defensive line? I think it is for now. I mean, I think it is this week. Um, I don't think you're going to have anybody in place now that you play Alabama and then you got an open date. Uh, so perhaps you could, you know, bring somebody in there or you could reshuffle and, and do some different things. But, I think for now, this is going to be Jeremy Pruitt's to, to coach. And, 
you know, they'll get a defensive analyst or, or a GA of somebody who's, you know, who, who's helping and, and being involved, who will be involved there. Um, I, you know, I know Steve Caldwell's doing some things for the athletic department. He's a veteran defensive line coach, but I don't think that's a direction that, that Tennessee would go. I, I don't see that as being a place. You know, is there a guy? guy that's in retirement or who's not working right now, you know, who, who's looking for something. I mean, you John know, Pruitt, that lake house hubs. <laughs> I mean, you know, Jeremy Pruitt's got a lot of defensive contacts out there we, and we'll see. I mean, we'll, we'll see exactly kind of where it goes from here. I mean, again, this is not, uh, this is not the move I anticipated today um, or this evening, but it's, it's obviously something Jeremy Pruitt has decided to do and, and, from my understanding, Jimmy Brumball was not at Tennessee's practice on Sunday evening, and, no, and that young scrimmage or the scrimmage with the young players, Austin, he wasn't there, and and Jeremy Pruitt coached him up tonight, and we'll see what this thing looks like uh, the rest of the week, and obviously Coach Pruitt will address it with the media um, on Monday uh, at lunchtime, about twelve hours from now, when when he meets the media to talk about uh, the Alabama game and assess his offense and deals with questions about quarterbacks and now questions about what his staff looks like. Tennessee will have the day off tomorrow, having practiced on Sunday, and then they will return to practice on Tuesday. For Brent Hubs, I'm Austin Price.